Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Tuesday, January 30th, 2018. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, we're trending steadily higher, but we have seen our first, our very first two day pullback of the year, at least if we were to close in this manner. Still very, very early in the day, but right now we've stitched together from uh, the previous session's high all the way to the current pre-market low. That's about as big a pullback as we've seen all year so far, and that's not bad at all. Uh, we do have right here 28.25 where there's an LVN present. There's still the trigger zone, which is much lower. Uh, so there's uh, plenty of areas where bulls will be looking to defend. I mentioned at one point or another here, you can see how thin this profile is after the recent expansion through 2700. At some point, uh, given how profiles and how the market auctions through these through these prices, you, you will likely see a move back across this range uh, as this market perhaps attempts to create new a new price structure above 2700 and into 2900, uh, but staying basically above 2700. So overall, at some point, all these prices may need to get re-auctioned through. But for the very short term right now, 28.25, very big time key level right now. Uh, that level, if it's hit, may be a high probability rotation candidate. And then you also have the trigger zone down below. That would offer another opportunity there as well. So we'll keep an eye on this in the ES. If we take a look here at the NQ, now the NQ has seen a nice little uh, one, one and a half day pullback as well. Uh, very tight little key range that we've had on it, and it's still in play. I'm going to move it, remove it right now so you can see the screen a little better. Uh, but for right now, what you're seeing is price hit uh, a primary target on the recent little bounce here, pullback, and is now holding just above or just at the day's midpoint of the day. So again, we're seeing another pullback uh, buying opportunity within the current uptrending market. Again, very similar to the ES, you see a nice LVN right here. This low volume node is support. In a trending market, every LVN becomes support along the way until it fails to become support. So this is a big time area of support. Um, you also have the sloping Pimas here, which are providing uh, a basis for support as well. So these are all uh, still in favor of uptrending behavior. But if we take a look at the intraday time frame for a quick moment, I want to show uh, what it looks like when absorption is occur occurring. So basically what you see here is uh, a nice little uh, sharp rejection off the lows. You see a very sharp rejection, 69, 25, 75, boom, and we bounce back to value. And then every counter rotation of value now has not led to a new low. Instead, there was lots of higher lows. And that's where the market is attempting to absorb between 69.50, 69.55 for a shot at returning prices back to 69.95 and 7,000. So that's kind of the intraday uh, goings on right now. And if there's a failure to hold this area, that's when all of these bulls that are absorbing will start to get the stops run and we'll see new lows. So this is where the action's happening right now, 69.50 to 69.55. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. I'm going to bring this back out here to a higher time frame, the Pivot Boss template. This template has basically five of my proprietary indicators on it. There's one more that you don't see, which is Pivot Boss Bands. Uh, in this case right here, still trending steadily higher. This almost looks like the ES or the NQ right now. Uh, very, very bullish relentless trend no pullbacks mostly sideways another sideways move again this has been very strong we have an lvn down here that's about 6250 that's a very strong lvn it would take out this low if price were to rotate into that zone very similar to the 63s and just below it that would be a great trap to return this right here below 6250 between 62 and 6250 could provide a great trap uh, that you could return price back toward recent high 66 and perhaps even get 67s. So right now that's the idea. If price rotates down to here, we're looking to, to trap and return. Uh, over here, yesterday what we're looking at is 64, 
91s, 64 91s, and that's still the level to watch right now. I mean, we're dancing right around that level at the moment. So that's kind of the key pivot right here. Closing above that zone may mean uh, a squeeze already within the range because we're trading in a small range. A failure to hold that level uh, could open up that scenario we discussed here a moment ago. But again, all scenarios point to more upside. Uh, you know, right now, this has been a very bullish trend, especially above 55s. It continues to elongate. We have not seen a significant rejection top yet or a blow off top or any kind of uh, significant topping pattern. So everything points to more upside. So 67.46 to 68.93 is the next upside target based off of current recent lows. All right, let's take a look here at gold futures. Gold looks very similar to the market as well. Trending higher, very strong. Pullbacks are buying opportunities. Right now, the, the key range to keep in mind is the range that we saw on the 25th develop from that impulse high to this impulse low. We have that midpoint. That's our key range. Uh, we hit the bottom of it yesterday after failing off the, the mid. And today we're seeing early signs of rejection and a box forming below that uh, point. So that means that price pushed down below, formed a little box, could not get paid, and now a squeeze is occurring. So that tells us that 1341 right now is very, very important for the day. Look for bulls to uh, generally attempt to keep that area bid throughout the session. And if they're successful, if 1341 continues to hold by the end of the day, we could see a nice return back toward highs, which would be 1364, and a shot to see a squeeze that takes us into 1375. Now keep in mind, if you look at the weekly chart, 1375 is a significant area of resistance that every time the market rotates into that zone, it's smacked down for a long time. So that is a major, major significance stage five resistance level. Uh, and so we're going to keep that an eye on that. But for right now, in this pullback with this failed new low, uh, absorbing off 1341, you could have a very favorable squeeze into 1375 so off that zone. And that could play out over the next two to three days, um, perhaps even five. So we'll see how that, that goes and uh, if 1341s can continue to be held. And very quickly, XBT. Here's Bitcoin. This was the last topic we talked about last night at the American Association of Invest, uh, Individual Investors where I was the guest speaker. A lot of great discussion around Bitcoin here. We talked about this tight range from 10,000 to 12,000 how it been tightly coiled. This is your rejection day right here. The absorption's occurring here. Uh, this is your key range where you have 11,300. You have this top end at 20,500, the midpoint at 15,900. And right now, the, the entire battle is right here at 11,300 and around that zone. You can see that value has shifted lower. If I move my drawing, that pink dotted line is value. And so there's a lot of energy building up in this area. You got bulls on one side, bears on another, but as I keep mentioning, the bulls have not really done a great job of really coming in to defend and squeeze, get the squeeze. They've only come in to defend and then they've had to release. And so uh, again, what I'm looking for is any pop above 12K and if there's any failure to hold above that zone, that could be a hard sell down to the next key target below, which is 6,700. And 6,700 is based off of this key range. It would be the 50% target down below. So that's what I'm watching for. If price can push above 12K and hold, there will be a quick rotation back to 15.9 to 16.580. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this plays out the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.